Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Wii Portable, but not the one from AliExpress. So stay tuned and let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so in this video we are going to take a close look at the Wii Portable. And this is not the one I've reviewed from AliExpress, but I will show you this in the later part of the video. So I came across this thing on my local marketplace and I was quite intrigued. In the past, or better said, like last year, I did a review about the PlayStation 2 Portable. But did you know they also made one for the Wii? And if you didn't know, now you know. And when it comes to weird obscure products, oh man, I love to collect those. But what you're going to get with this thing is a quite interesting, let's say, piece of tech. So it has been made by the company called Lumax, never heard of it. And it came with this very nice bag. It didn't came with the Wii of course, but the guy who sold it to me had everything complete in box. I already cleaned the box itself or the packaging because it was quite filthy. And it was incomplete. And that was a little bit of a bummer. But let's take a close look at the Wii Portable. Okay, so what are we going to get? That is always the question. So this is very old tech. So it is not like going to be like a fancy IPS display. So you can see like everything is already messed up. The Wii is basically like laying in the middle. And normally we're going to get two chains that hold this piece or the screen itself in place. So the way how they made it is quite horrible. Okay, so what did I get in this kit? So beside a filthy bag, we're also going to get the sensor bar. We're going to get ourselves the plug for in your car, the cigarette plug that basically like puts this voltage that we're going to need. I don't know if it's going to be very smart to do this, especially when you're not running your car. It will like drain your battery like crazy. Then we're going to go to sell the nunchuck and we're going to get sell the remote with the extension. But the thing is, what I don't like about it is the way how they basically made this thing. Okay, so first of all, what I don't like about this is that this thing doesn't have a built-in sensor bar. That would be pretty damn awesome. And the way how this construction is, so nothing is basically holding this Wii in place. Yeah, the only thing is holding the display and in combination with some chains. But when you're moving it around, you can see like it's not a very good construction. But let's remove this, it's not very handy and I was already missing one of them. Also what I said, like this thing is incomplete, but a little bit of a bummer. So what you can do is like slide open the display itself. So wherever some of these portables, you need to connect it with some screws. Like what I told you before, the Wii is just basically laying inside the case itself. It cannot move fairly easily because there are some nudges over here that basically hold the Wii in place. But the construction itself is made very poorly. So it's just some piece of plastic, and especially when you're removing the freaking Wii, this thing weighs almost nothing. Okay, so the display itself is an old school LCD. We will look later on the quality itself. So you can still move this panel to the left and the right. Another interesting thing I found, like basically you have this unlocking mechanism where you're going to push this, you can unlock the screen itself from the base. It's made all very like poorly. It's, man, it's freaking damn, oh, it's really, oh, it's awful. All right, so let's see if we can remove this thing. And if this part seems to be not, working properly but the idea behind it then you can just click off the screen itself okay so to be honest i have no idea why you would even do this because it makes no sense to me maybe if you want to use the screen itself but again like it's it's kind of weird how they made this well let's take a close look at the monitor itself so here we're going to get the power button for turning it on and off the buttons feel very clicky and cheap volume control exit and rotate then we're going to get ourselves here the two speakers and i'm very curious if these are going to be very loud so the connection is also quite interesting and again made very cheaply like everything is made from very thin plastic it feels always very light weighted it's like not looking like very well but basically what it does is like getting the power from the power supply so basically you only need to have one plug so the idea behind it's quite genius in my opinion don't know if the original power supply likes it if you're going to hook up an extra monitor but still i've tested before and it works just fine Okay, one thing I noticed is like we're going to get two LEDs in here and I'm guessing normally you would say like this can be option for the sensor bar, but that is something, there is no connection whatsoever that we can use for this. So it would be cool if this thing has like a built-in sensor bar, of course. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. Let's plug this bad boy in. So we're going to get one for the connection for the display and the other one is going to be one for the power. So it's still quite clunky, all of it. But let's plug it in. And the next thing we need to do is get ourselves the original power supply and plug it in here. So guys, we have connected everything. The sensor bar have been attached. And this is basically the way how we need to play. So let's power it on. 
I'm powering on the monitor, you will notice it shows EV out in the corner. So it uses basically like the baddest signal you can get, but of course it's a low resolution display and it's very tiny, so that's going to be a big of a deal. Okay, so let's power it on. I don't know if the sensor board has been configured correctly. All right, so let's boot it up and let's put in a game. The thing that I really like about this machine, so if you also want to use it like a portable GameCube, the only thing you need to do is lift down the covers and you can plug in your memory cards and your controllers. That's what we're going to do later on this video. Let's plug in the game. And let's see how it will sound. Let's crank up the volume. All right. Let's see if the disc is still working. <laughs> oh man, this is really bad. <laughs> if you're cranking up the volume too much, you can see like this screen itself starts to blink and audio is really bad on this machine. Okay, so let's go. Or like Mary says, let's go. Oh, <laughs> the audio quality is really bad. All right, so the disc is working because it didn't test it before. And let's play some games. But okay, so you need to take consideration. It's, it's like a very old product already. It's, it has been released back in the day in the Wii era, of course. It's not like they released it years after the Wii was not supported. So if you're going to put the volume around, let's say 50%, it's going to sound just fine. And absolutely cool that you can play this thing on the go. But of course with this, we're going to get also some setbacks. Sadly because we're going to get like a very low quality screen. But still a lot of fun to play. But I think one of the awesome features this thing has, and it comes of course with the first generation of Wii, we can just play some GameCube games. So this thing is basically like a 2 one Play your Wii games. And of course, let's go with the show, because we're going to play some GameCube. But I can tell you, like, it's pretty damn awesome to play some Wii games and GameCube games on the go. But I don't know if the camera picks it up, but oh man, even like despite this thing, it's an old LCD. With the AVL signal, it looks really washed out. It's a little bit of a bummer they didn't use like a proper LCD inside and of course the component signal out. Alright. Of course I just need to play a small part of my favorite game, F-Zero GX. But again, I think it's just a freaking awesome way to play. Even now, if you can pick up a display like this for not a lot of money, I think it's just a fun novelty. But nowadays we're going to get better solution when it comes to portable Wii and GameCube because we're going to get actually like a real GameCube slash Wii handheld. So for the people who are following me around here on YouTube, they will know that this thing is a beast of a device because it's just big. But even it's more a handheld that is portable. Take consideration that like, there are a lot of different portables out there nowadays, but this is actually like a real portable. And what you can do with this is basically playing your Wii and GameCube games on the go. By the way, this thing sounds like a freaking vacuum cleaner. But it's pretty damn awesome. And when it comes to portable, you're having so many ways to play. And no, it doesn't boot up because I didn't add the USB drive. Yeah. But okay guys, I just wanted to show you this Wii Portable. Maybe you did own one back in the day, but I kind of remember like if you had a Wii and you want to bring it on vacation with you, this is just a really awesome way. I don't know if it's going to be like the best idea, like to hook this beast up on a car battery. But in the end, like, there were like a couple of ways you could play. And for the time being, it was a pretty damn awesome piece of hardware.
But yeah guys, so this thing is absolutely a beast of a device and it's portable somehow because it comes with an 8 inch display. You will not put it in your backpack very easily. It's quite heavy, but it is one of the awesome ways they're like modeling devices to make an awesome Wii and GameCube portable. This thing is fully made of soft mod, so you need to use a USB. You don't have the option to play disc anymore using GameCube controller. This device does have the option for an AV out if you want to put this thing on television. But yeah, this is one of the ways you can play. But yeah guys, let me know in the comments what kind of portable handheld did you ever own? Did you own a, like one from AliExpress or one at the right over here? I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the wicked family, and I will see you in the next one.